can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video and today um, we, we have a lot of a lot of news So basically we're gonna have to get all the cars in the driveway take a sick thumbnail because a lot of things are happening But for good reasons of course right now we do need to go over and pick up the 435 So uh, let's just go ahead and do that We have to drop off you guys' packages a lot of you guys have purchased some mods from me Which I appreciate you guys for the support it's definitely gonna be helping out towards the next build The next build is the biggest build we're ever gonna have on this channel not ever gonna have we're gonna have probably bigger down the road But like the biggest we've ever had on this channel channel which is gonna be super awesome so anyway my brother's just feeding my grandma good kid and then we we're heading down to show motors to pick up the 435 they removed the high flow cat again for small reasons and um, we're gonna bring that car back over here and if any of you guys actually want that high flow cat I'm not gonna be putting it back on just because you guys are about to find out later in this video so the high flow cat will be listed up for sale on my website link down below with alongside some other little mods that I decided to remove for small reasons as well without further ado let's head down to show them Alrighty guys, we just made it down to Showman Motors, picking up the 435 today. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything's great with the Navy. We took the high flow cat out. So yes, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's take it home. We need to wash both cars, get them set up. We're gonna take a huge photo of all three of our cars together. I've never done that before. And then uh, we got some news to tell you guys in a little bit. It could be good news, could be bad news, depending on what you guys think about it. And then also we need to drop off you guys' packages. Yeah, that's something we have to do as well. I'm sorry for not getting it out two days ago or yesterday. We'll get it out today, I promise. You guys just made it to Walmart. So we're here. We need to go find some rags. Hopefully, hopefully they have some. Because if not, we have to go to Costco. So hopefully they got some. Okay, do they have some rags? Yes, they do. But do they have the big bag? That's what we need. I think we're going to go ahead and go with this. Just because it has an R rate. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. All right, guys. Now that we got some brand new rags, let's head over to BMW and uh, just get that last screw that we need for the 435. Um, and then... I think we can finally get both of these cars side by side with the photo shoot with the i8 and uh, just talk about what's going on. But we need to get a car wash done and we need to get that screw. So two more pit stops. Hey guys, so we are here at Neil and we have both coppers over here and we actually saw something I've never seen before, which is a blue i8. I actually want to check that out. But look at this blue, I think X3. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, X1. Dang, what do you think of this color, dude? This is a nice color. Oh my God. It's a little small for an SUV for me, but it looks good. Dang, guys. That out. So that is a blue i8. I've never actually seen that before. It looks really good. Not going to lie. I still prefer the white though. Yeah. Still prefer the white? Okay, cool, cool. I made the right decision? Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> Let's head in. Guys, we just got out. We got the screw that we needed, but um, right now, let's head to the car wash. We gotta get that done. These things are filthy. All right, guys, and now we're here at the car wash, so uh, let's go ahead and wash both Copper and Copper Junior. All right, Copper is getting proper treatment, and then now we're gonna go ahead and just dry Copper Junior. Oh, man, it looks good when it's clean. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta drop off some packages first. And guys, we are officially back at the house. So I went ahead and lined up all the cars. So we have the i8 here. We do have to put up the doors because that's probably my favorite part about the car. We have the 435 chilling right here with the brand new car wash and the 135 chilling right here with the new car wash. So they're all looking really clean. I think we need some drone footage. So uh, let's cut into the drone footage. Start a fight, never know who's wrong or right Feel nothing when you go I know it's not intelligent Drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant now We should talk about with us How come we're holding on? Cause really I don't see the benefits now And you've broken my trust So I just wonder Why do I fall back to you? Really nothing I can do all right, guys, so we have all three cars pretty much lined up. I don't know if that cinematic came out good or bad. I'm hoping it came out pretty decent. It was super hard to control that drone. So uh, work with me. I'm going to have to try to practice with that in a non, like, you know, home populated area. I'm gonna probably try to take it out somewhere where there's literally nothing in the practice, like flying it super fast and like trying to control it. I'm not gonna be doing it here. There's a bunch of cars, a bunch of homes. I don't wanna be liable for anything. Anywho, I, um, so before I actually say anything, I do have somebody coming right now for the 135. I'm not really too sure if he's gonna be buying it, but he's just gonna come check it out. It might be sold also at the same time, so who knows? 
But as the title suggests, guys, I pretty much just want to say, just want to put it out there, that I have the i8 right now. I have the 435, which is pretty much fully built, and the 135 that are pretty much fully built other than like a single turbo um, or anything as crazy as that. So yeah, the 135 is honestly looking really good. Obviously, it looked way better with the other wheels. Um, the 435 has just always been posted. Such a beauty. The thing is, guys, with all these cars, I have to build them. I have to enjoy them. I love to learn. And end of the day, they gotta go. This channel is all about saving BMWs, all about trying new things. I love, I love getting new cars, building them up, trying to get them from nothing to something. So the 135, guys, uh, pretty much, I don't know if you guys remember when I first got the car. I got the car from my boy Jonathan. You couldn't get it registered. It wouldn't, it pretty much had an insane boost leak. It threw up a bunch of errors, threw a check engine, threw a service engine engine for cats and a whole bunch of other little things and then we picked it up we went ahead pretty much got it registered everything's good to go no light to the dash fix every single leak from the oil pan from the valve cover the cracked valve cover oil filter housing transmission uh pretty much replaced all the fluids including differential fluids transmission fluids engine fluids you pretty much have done everything even uh replacing the serpentine guard i mean actually adding a serpentine guard because that belt snapped twice on jonathan and we didn't want to risk anything going inside the motor he got lucky twice but the third time he's not going to get lucky so when i picked up the car from him it was having a lot of issues now it's perfect absolutely perfect actually probably one of the most reliable n54s at this point and then we also pretty much fully modified it and gave it a life that it never had before and that's something that i like to do on this channel is to get a car and get it to its full potential obviously single turbo is taking it to the next level but obviously full potential it's been there guys and i've truly enjoyed the car and obviously i didn't have plans to sell it again i wouldn't have done all that maintenance if i had plans to sell it but I do feel like a new build is on the rise and it's gonna be absolutely insane once it hits the channel. Now for the 435, yes, this is gonna be going up for sale pretty soon. Reason being is because the next car is gonna be kinda in the same generation and I don't need two of these kind of cars. The next car is gonna be way better than this one, believe it or not, it's gonna be way better and it's gonna be built probably even more than this one. So that being said, there's no reason to keep the 435 either. But like every time I keep going through my head, I'm like, wow, this car is absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if you guys know, but literally every little Little thing has been done to this car from the M4 interior, from the bag, suspension, the exhaust, full bolt-ons, all the carbon. Literally everything has been done, even a steering wheel. I don't think there's a single part on this car that's stock. Even the little details, guys, like this. Everyone asked me about this. I got lucky and got one of these. It was a custom order and uh, pretty much there, there is no more of these. I don't, I don't know where to get them. I think eBay, there's a guy that sells custom ones and that's where I got it from, but he's no longer selling them. So little details like that instead of the M4 emblems, the carbon fiber hood scoop, carbon fiber grills. I mean, literally everything, guys. Extended splitter that's chassis mounted, carbon on carbon. Where's my keys? I need to unlock this car. This has also got the air suspension, valve tronic, valve exhaust, carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber side thing, carbon fiber spoilers, carbon fiber side extensions, carbon fiber there, carbon fiber there, literally everywhere on this car. Coming around to the interior, you have door handles in carbon. This is M Sport from the factory. It has the extended leather package, which is actually very uncommon and very expensive with the white combo as well. This is such a beautiful spec. Obviously, we have the, the beautiful Napa leather M4 seats all the way across, guys. Let's check that out. That is absolutely gorgeous. Carbon fiber there, custom steering wheel. Again, air suspension, copper seat belts. Oh my God, literally, guys, this car is amazing. I absolutely love this car. But like I said, guys, again, the, it's, it's time for a new build. It really is. And I'm not gonna be clickbaiting you because as the title suggests, I'm selling all my cars. The i8, eventually it will be sold. There is no car that's gonna be kept forever. Like if you guys ask any other YouTube YouTuber, no YouTuber keeps all their cars. I know TJ Hunt has kept one of his cars, I think the BRZ, because it was one of his first cars, and he's been blessed with the opportunity to be able to afford to keep it, but I am not in the exact same position he is in, obviously, so I have to sacrifice some things to hopefully be at that point to where I can keep my cars and continue to do builds, but as for now, that, is, that isn't something I can do. This is this is the last one I'm gonna be selling, and I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon, mainly because it's fully stock, and again, when I buy my cars, I like to fully modify them, so again, wheels, carbon, maybe in some kind of custom suspension on this thing, wrap. I mean, who knows how wild I'm probably gonna get on this thing, but I know carbon, it's gonna be needed all over. So, gonna be working with Keys Motorsports to get a whole bunch of carbon on this car. Gonna be working with Variant to get some wheels. We're gonna be trying to get an exhaust. This thing is gonna be fully modified like my other two cars. So, if you guys don't see the potential yet, Give me a chance, because I don't think I've disappointed with the other cars so far. All that being said, guys, we are waiting on the followers, so um, at this point, I'm just gonna get the i8 back in the garage. I'm probably gonna move the 435 and get the i8 in the middle of the driveway, and as soon as he gets here, he's gonna be able to check out the car. I'm super stoked for him, and I'm super happy it's one of you guys. I hope when you guys buy the 435 as well, because I do want you guys on the channel. The 435 currently, as it sits, it's a clean title with 157,000 miles. Yes, it isn't the lowest type of mileage. I think 15, 
157,000 miles on Kelly Blue Book says 15,000 um, because this is an M Sport as well. With heads up display, heated seats, Harman Kardon sound system, some really good features. So 15,000 is how much this car sells stock. Obviously this car is nowhere near stock. It has over $30,000 in upgrades. Yes, $30,000 from the seats, the suspension to the wheels, literally everything, exhaust. It's, it's, it's an absolutely insane car. So I'm not gonna be selling it for 15. I'm gonna be trying to aim for more of 22. I want 25, but I don't think it's realistic considering the mileage. So 22 is where I'm at right now. If any of you guys want to purchase this car from me, make sure to hit me up on my Instagram. You guys can DM me, email me, whatever you guys want to do. But yeah, all right, let's get situated. <laughs> I'm super excited and we are waiting on the new buyer. Oh my Lord, I'm super hyped because if this car sells, guys, this opens up so many more doors for the channel. Whew, I'm excited. All right, guys, I didn't, I didn't even catch your name. Marcelo. Marcelo, okay. Oh no, he did say it. I forgot, I have short-term memory loss. What's going on, guys? So Marcelo is here. He's checking out the 135. I'm showing him all the other cars for now as well. Um, the 435 is again up for sale. Uh, but yeah, Marcelo hasn't even checked out the 135 yet. We're gonna go ahead and show him the car and then going out for a test drive, of course, right? So we got the brand new Save a BMW keychain on there. We're gonna see. <laughs> How this puppy sounds. We give her a fresh new wash, but the interior could have been detailed better. But, um, you know, I'm not an interior detailer, so. Looks fun. <laughs> okay. And that's just the muffler delete. <laughs> the down pipes way longer. Yeah, I, I mean. I'm putting them back on. I'd like to do this. Really? So you guys might be able to see this on his channel. If you get a channel, let me know. I'll let you guys know. But he's gonna be pushing it to 500 horsepower, right? Yep, that's good. Which is which is gonna be sick. <laughs> I didn't do it because I'm too scared of something blowing up, and then you know I, I step back. But he's gonna risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> but anywho, um, some other things to know: you do have two light bulb errors. Not that it shows up on there, but like you have like that bulb in the front, one bulb in the back. Um, other than that, I'm gonna let him adjust his things. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other stuff and then we're gonna head out for a little quick little chest drive. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I don't wanna stress him out. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys in about five. Probably guys, one of the most well-maintained cars I've ever owned. <laughs> Anywho, uh, you can pop the hood if you want. So uh, you can see all of our good work because you know, here at the North Factory, we don't sell garbage cars. Nah, we're not a dealership, I wish. <laughs> I need to get a dealership. Imagine if I have a dealership, it's all modified cars. That'd be so sick. Um, so the first things first, the newest thing we replaced is the valve cover. But that video dropped today, I don't know if you saw it. Okay, you know what? That's actually gonna be a pain to remove. Just take my word for it and watch the video. <laughs> I actually watched it already. It came out like, I think a little bit after 11 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, never mind, he saw it. Okay, cool, so you can you can trust me. Um, so only things I think in terms of smog, that blow up valve, they might catch that. they will be like, what the hell? These blue lines, I don't know if they'll ding you for it, but again, vacuum lines are not crazy expensive. I only did the top ones too, so those are easy. I was gonna ask you if you could like maybe take a couple hundred off. It's my birthday in two days, November 1st. November It's like literally 1st. 300 bucks or something. Did you bring hundreds or fifties or twenties? What'd you bring? Hundreds, hundreds. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay guys, okay. You are a subscriber. I will do 200 off. Okay. Okay. Fair. All right. Cool. Cool. Because also, you, I surprise you with the light errors. So the bulbs, I think, are twenty-five each, and then he can have the rest of it for his birthday, trying to get some carbon fiber stuff. Okay. Yeah, we have a deal. So the one thirty-five is officially sold to my man right here. We're yes, gonna give him the paperwork. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm excited. All right. I tried setting this out to where it looks super professional and baloney schmoney. <laughs> it looks pretty good. It's a little dealership setup right yeah. here. <laughs> that key real quick. Back from the Nord dealership, you get your prime time. Anywho, so you get the book. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. But hold on, something I need to show you though. Look at the paperwork that came with this car. So this was the previous owner. All that was her, all the paperwork she did, all the maintenance. And this is all the maintenance for me and Jonathan and a couple of things from her from SCP Hero. Crazy stuff. You want to keep this if you do ever want to sell it because that is, that is a good thing to have. Um, and we're going to have to go to some personal information guys, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, and then we're going to hook up the man with some merch. We got a little bit of everything. We got some key tags. We got a lanyard, you like lanyards? Yes. That works. Pop sockets, and then a little bit of every single air freshener and some stickers. Just in case he's trying to rock it, you never know. So uh, I appreciate you, my G. A little bit you, of everything man. right there. Put one in the way back home, so you know that good scent, you know what I'm saying? I guess that pretty much concludes the video. If you guys want to cop some merch to support your boy, make sure to check out that link down below. So basically, 
that is the end of an era. But uh, like like we do on this channel, we like to save a whole bunch of videos. We like to build new things, try new things on this channel. So um, yeah, new build on the channel coming soon. I'm super excited for it. We have the money for it, but the 435 is for sale because we still gotta build that other car. I have literally enough to buy it totaled. I cannot afford to rebuild it. You can imagine how expensive this car is, and then the parts are very expensive. So I need to sell that car. Um, it's gonna be way faster than this, so I'm sure a lot of you guys will be happier. And it's probably just as respected or more respected. Actually, no, it's more respected than this car. <laughs> so very excited for that. Without further ado, guys, I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be Better not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth